everybody i'm just doing a quick reading um so this reading really quick it feels like someone that has been in a relationship for quite some time but it's been on and off for like years like you dated you broke up you dated you broke up you dated you broke up and this recent breakup you you want to go running back to them because you're tired you're you just don't want to do this anymore or you might feel like you made a mistake like you're worrying like oh i made a mistake i shouldn't have done this you're blocking your intuition um your intuition is telling you like this person you have served your purpose with this person and vice versa it's time to move on and you're ignoring your intuition well spirit is telling you that it's time to move on stop ignoring your intuition there's better things ahead and you're just not meant to go back to this relationship and if you do you're just going to be stuck for another couple years so either do you want to be happy and move forward with your life or do you want to be stuck again uh the choice is yours you got to make a change you got to move forward you got to do something different uh part two next okay part two so basically you need to be listening to your intuition more and having it guide you that's why you're feeling so lost um in the things that you're worrying about you really shouldn't be worrying about you should be focusing on other things like making peace with um whatever is causing this like really intense feeling of sorrow um you you kind of feel defeated by this feeling it feels a lot like grief it just really heavy sorrow sadness depression grief maybe there was a death in the family or someone close to you uh or something else that caused grief maybe you lost a job or a house or something um maybe you were using this person as a bit of a crutch to deal with this heavy this heavy stuff in some way that you weren't even realizing it and you need to realize it um and you've got to make some changes in your life and uh you know this doesn't make you a failure because you couldn't handle it on your own or you couldn't make this relationship work it's just not the right relationship with you for you and it served its purpose so you can either see by the way i'm using the thoth deck in case anybody is curious don't ask me in the comments um so right now what you're supposed to be focusing on is basically making peace with things that happened in your past whatever this grief and sorrow is the relationship ending um, that there's someone else out there for you and this just wasn't the right relationship for you anymore. It served its purpose. You got to make peace of that. Focus on your success. Focus on work, how to make money, how to save up for your retirement, how to secure your future, whatever like things that are successful to you or mean success, that's what you're supposed to focus on right now. Um, I don't really see you even getting into relationships right now, like maybe sex or something like that. That's fine. But you got to stay away from relationships right now. You got to focus on success, work, yourself healing making peace with yourself and i see a lot of travel like maybe you travel a lot or you want to travel a lot and that's what you should be focusing on uh to help you out of this and next i will talk about what's ahead for you all right so um what's interesting is that there's like a ton of like really masculine energy in this reading and if you aren't if this reading isn't for a man, like the, you feel like this reading is for you and you're not a man or you don't identify as a man, maybe you just have a lot of masculine energy like I do. Um, but this, it has like a lot of really strong masculine energy. So that plays into it somehow. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, okay. Um, so who's coming your way? Again, I think it's masculine energy um, because Queen of Wands, I feel like there's like a woman coming into your life or someone with very feminine energy who's intuitive and powerful and very much, they're very sure of themselves and they're very like solid and grounded and you need to get on their level. That is why you have to do all this other stuff because you have to catch up with this person that you're supposed to be with. This person's your your future partner, your your husband, wife, whatever uh, the case may be. But this all right, so again, it feels like there's a woman coming into your life path um, and this person is a future partner and they are just very strong and powerful and they they know themselves really well and the only way and you're going to want to be with this person and they're going to want to be with you and if you're not on their level at that point in time it's it's not going to go well but i just feel like it's not even going to happen until you get on that level so you have to be ready for this person um i don't even see them really coming into your life until you are ready and that happens a lot People come together when they should be together, but it's not time yet. And there's a bunch of things that happen. But for you, I don't feel like this person is even going to come into your orbit until you get your shit together. Um, so you have to go off, focus on these other things like your job, success, money, traveling, knowing yourself, learning yourself, healing, whatever. And then once it's time, once you're ready, then this person comes into your life path. And next part. All right. Hopefully the last part. Um, so yeah, it's time to move on, fam, because... You have so much fucking happiness ahead of you in your life path. Like, you're going to be stupid fucking happy. 
Do you not realize that? Like, I know you realize that. I know you know. But you're just fucking around because it's uncomfortable, huh? Yeah. That's why. You, you aren't ready for this person and you're not even ready to be happy because you're still stuck in that sorrow energy. Um, you know, I get it. It's fine. We all do shit like that. Um, so you got to get out of here. You got to find your inner peace. And when you're ready, this person's going to show up and they're going to make you happy. You're going to make them happy and you're going to have an amazing life together. Uh, you know, whatever it is you, that you think happiness is, if it's a family or traveling together or whatever, um, you have a, so much happiness with this person. You just have to do what you need to do and put in the work. Um, and then you can have it. So I hope this helps. All right. Bye.